Hi folks, BP Earthwatch here has released another video about 209P Linear's uh, debris field, claiming that we're going into the debris field today. So let's take a quick look at his video here. March 12, 2014. Guys, you're hearing background noises of incoming meteors and meteorites on space weather radio. Now, I talked about this today on that March the 12th would be a day that we could start seeing this. And I Okay, so he's talking about this chart here, claiming that uh, because around here is today's date, that this shows that we're going into linear's debris. So let's take a look at this chart. Now, the vertical axis shows distance, right, in astronomical units. But what this is actually distance from is the distance between the meteoroid trail and Earth's orbit, not Earth. So this does not mean that we're going into linear's debris. Unless you see the purplish, pinkish line here passing through this zero point, when the meteoroid stream does, then you won't necessarily have a meteor shower. That's why we didn't have a meteor shower in 2013 or 2012. The meteoroid streams crossed Earth's orbit, but not at the point that we were at that point in our orbit. That is signified by the <coughs> excuse me by this line here. So that doesn't happen until May. That's when we might get a meteor shower from 209P because the meteoroid streams here cross this point at the same time that we're at that point in our orbit. We're not at that point now. So the only thing that's over there are the meteoroid streams that are predicted by the simulation, not Earth. So no, we're not getting a meteor shower from Linear today. So let's keep going here for a second. I've been listening for an hour and have had at least 30 hits on this radar guy. Some... Okay, so he's listened for an hour and he's had 30 hits. Well, the first thing he should have asked himself is whether or not that's normal. Because you see, radio meteor listening stations usually detect two to three times more meteors than visual observers. Well, how many meteors per hour do visual observers detect on today's date, or March the 12th, rather? Well, we have this paper from 1969 that uh, documents sporadic meteor rates, just normal background meteor rates, between the years 1944 and 1953 using visual observers. Well, if you look at March the 12th, we have here in March the 12th, 1947, the sporadic meteor rate was about 13.9. 13.9 times two to three times? Yeah, that's at the rate he detected. That's normal. So no, that is not an indication of a meteor shower. That's just normal sporadic background meteor rates. It has nothing to do with 209P.